Hey guys, so um, as I promised earlier on my stories and my TikTok, um, I'm going to pop on here to do a review on this very iconic lipstick. It's been it's been like talked about by literally every single person, every single makeup artist, every single blogger that I've followed. Almost everybody has raved about this lipstick and that is this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Uh, now I got the original one and I bought this from Sephora. It came in a package. It was, um, the package came with the original Pillow Talk lip liner called, it's called Lip Cheat. Um, the lip plumper, the Charlotte Tilbury lip plumper, and it also came with a gloss. I haven't tried the gloss, but I tried on the these three products. And I'm wearing the lipstick right now, the um, the Pillow Talk lipstick with the with the lip liner, and I actually had very very high hopes, very high expectations of this product um, because. I have yet to come across a person who didn't rave about about this lipstick. Um, and Charlotte Tilbury, um, the company itself, had said that this like this lipstick is one that they've created to to basically like look good on anybody and everybody, like on all skin colors and tones. Um, so I was really really excited to add this as an as like my latest. Uh, luxury neutral lip color to my to my collection um, to be honest like I'm I'm like I'm not thrilled about this color like you know so my other like my other colors that I that I typically wear they have they just have like this like pop to them this color I feel like it's almost looking a little bit more like a like a mocha sort of a brown on me and I don't love that um, and I've seen pillow talk in in pictures and photos and to be honest it looks like a beautiful color so I'm inclined to think that it probably has to do with like you know the the skin tone the undertone and even just like you know your uh, your own lip color that this color goes on top of but but then the other thing is like you know when you when you line your lips with with your lip liner um it should kind of like you know neutralize that effect um of like you know your own lip color um you know uh, i guess like you know mixing with with the lipstick uh but this is how it shows up on me and to be honest like you know depending on where i'm sitting the type of lighting i'm sitting like it more so looks like a brown tone on me than anything else and i don't like that um so i pulled out my neutrals and i was like i i want to get to the bottom of this and see like why exactly what is it that's maybe not sitting right with this color on me because guys I, I really wanted to love this product um i really wanted to but i'm a little disappointed that i'm disappointed in this product so anyway, I pulled out my um, my typical favorite neutrals that I that I wear all the time, and so I was like, let me let me swatch those and see how all of them stack up. And what I noticed is that um, I think the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk is a cool toned neutral. Like I don't think that this is a this is truly like a neutral neutral color. I think it's more cool toned than uh than anything else which is why it's um you know it's showing up like this on me because i'm uh like my skin tone and everything it's it's a warm tone so on me i find the neutrals that look best are the ones that are warm toned neutrals right but i mean like you know obviously for anyone you would have to kind of do your own skin analysis to see what like you know what undertone you are but anyway i swatched my regular neutrals and starting from right over on this side so this is my mac um so you can see like these are my my regular ones and then there's pillow talk so this is my uh, mac uh what's it called yeah mac kind of sexy but then this is my um anastasia beverly hill sedona then this is my nars um Mars Bridget 
that's uh, from the audacious um, line so there it is my Mac kind of sexy my Anastasia Sedona and then the the NARS uh, Bridget and these ones I love how they turn out like they they've all got like this um, pinky tone to them and they just they just sort of like you know uh, just give my face an overall like glowy look this one sort of almost looked a little bit duller on me um, so here's and here's the uh, the pillow talk one and I can just like you know when I put it next to all my other favorite colors that's when I could see like it's it's a visibly cooler color this this is the the lip liner with it and that's the the actual lipstick and I've tried this lipstick on with and without the lip liner and either way, this is how it really ends up ends up looking like. Now it's not a terrible color. Um, like you know, I mean, depending like girls wear like a mocha brownish lip color as well. So I certainly could, but I really wanted to be able to wear this as a like you know as an everyday neutral. But I just don't see that this kind of pops. Like it almost kind of makes me feel a bit blah. Um, so I don't know. I think, I think if I, if I do continue to use this color, I'm probably gonna start to pair it with like a really super tone, super warm lip liner and probably use it, uh, use it under that. Or I don't know, maybe I'm gonna start mixing it with, with some of my other like really warm colored or like, you know, like a warm, like orangey kind of lip color um so maybe i'll have to start considering like mixing it in with with other colors but um yeah basically i guess if you are a warm toned person or if you naturally have like you know slightly more pigmented lips this color like charlotte tilbury pillow talk is not the original is not necessarily gonna look um, on you the way that you see it on the posters and on most other models and their advertisements so yeah I mean the color is not horrendous um, it's still a nice like mocha brown but I'm not like I'm not thrilled with it I'm not completely thrilled so anyway I, I'm, I'm sure that I'll still get used good use out of it uh if any of you have used pillow talk let me know in the comment section how you liked it um how it worked out for you uh i'd love to i'd love to hear like why i'm the only odd person out that has so far not been thrilled with this with this product because i feel i feel like a complete outlier but oh well um, I guess I'll hopefully hear from you guys in the comments and uh, you let me know what all what you all think do you know what oh, yeah it's, it's not horrible it's not terrible anyway um, that's it for my review uh, I will hopefully speak to you in the comments or you can slide up in my DMs on Instagram uh, and if you like this do like share and subscribe and uh, that helps me to know if you like product reviews, what kind of videos, what kind of content you like. So let me know, guys. Till the next time.